Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to do the mapping root setting on launch GCS. And uh, today uh, I will show you how to do the mapping in two situations. The first is the square area and the second one is to do the mapping on corridor. Okay. Now let's go to planning and uh, let's talk about the first situation. Do the mapping on a square area. First, let's open the KML file. Right click the mouse, map to KML overlay. Pick the file, this one. Now you can see the mapping area we're going to map today. Is the square okay? Uh, suppose that this is the home point, takeoff point, and now what we are going to do is mark the area. We are going to map mapping add button. Try to make this red uh, square to cover the KML file marked area okay now click this button this button is the automatic serving button let's enlarge it in this video uh, we will take the camera sony camera asmr as for example Let's re re review these options one by one. Uh, suppose that the accuracy for this mapping is three, okay? Or two, it's up to you. Let's make it three for this video. And click here. And for this parameter, the angle are basically uh, the angle setting is to make the the flight distance as short as possible. Okay, here this is the distance. Let's try to uh, adjust it a little bit. Looks like the distance is uh, longer now. Okay. I think it's better, it's better right now. Because, uh, the, the main principle is, is make the flight path parallel to the to the longer uh, longer line of the mapping area. This is the um, flight speed. Let's make it 22. Uh, this flight speed is determined by the camera parameter like the shutter and the aperture and but I believe that this 22 our speed is our uh, can fit most of the cameras so in this our uh, setting we'll make it 22 now let's go to the great options there are two parameters that we should take notice is the overlap percentage and the side lap percentage Normally, we make it 60%. Let's do the camera configure. This is the default uh, setting for the a Sony A7R. If you want to, if you're using other cameras, then you can uh, change the uh, this parameter manually. Now looks everything is looks fine. Just click. Accept. Press OK. Yes. Now you can see that the mapping rules has been created automatically. Let's go through the waypoints. The first one is the video takeoff waypoint. Loiter to add, loiter to is less climb to the attitude. 
and the last waypoint is Vita Land, and everything looks fine. Now let's write the route to the flag controller. It's done. Okay, let's check the route on the flying page. Here you can see the mapping area right here. Everything looks fine. And then we can go to go to the next step. Now let's talk about the second mapping situation. Mapping for a corridor. Load the KML file firstly. Choose the file. Yes. Okay. This is the marked area. Today we are going to map this river. Goes from here to here. All right. Suppose that we will make the takeoff point, the home point here. So like uh, it's a good place for the for the video to take off and land. All right. Let's start from here to mark mapping area. We're going to map today. Just follow the river. One tip that if you map the corridor like this, try to or uh, add the waypoint at this side, not this side. Okay, this end right here. Go to this pattern. Three same as usual. 22 meter per second, this flat speed. Go to this option, great options. 60% of lap, 60% of side lap. And the most important thing that you need to take this option, corridor. And another parameter you need to notice is that this the corridor width 100 is by default uh, normally if your requirement is 200 just change it here probably that your customer will ask you to get uh, 300 width let's make it 300 here this is the default our uh, setting for the Sony ASMR, just leave it as default. Accept. Okay. Yes. Let's review the win points. The first one is the video takeoff. Everything looks fine. Last is the video land. Okay, now let's write route. Check the route at flying page. But one more thing I forget to mention is that you should no notice the flight distance. For this flight, the total flight distance is 13.18 kilometers. And you need to make sure that your gym can, or can totally feel, fulfill this requirement. Can Reach this requirement. Okay.